Hello, good morning, one and all. And today, I have been given the topic of the child labor from the perspective of food sharing. Before dwelling on this topic, I just want to take across the child labor legislations in India. This dates back to uh, 1881 when the Factories Act was enacted. The Factories Act 1881 stipulates that a child below seven years of age should not be employed. Then this Factories Act 1881 was revised in 1891 where the new age of child employment was increased to nine years. In the year 1948, a major overall was done, whereby the children who have not completed the 14 years of age were not allowed to employed in the hazardous factories, hazardous operational process. And they were to be employed in 14 operational process. Uh, uh, in the Provision of Regulation Act, I, I would like to point out that here in the this act was enacted. And in this act, child were not completed the 14 years, and they were allowed to, they were allowed to get employment in other sources, and only 30 operations and procurement process were allowed to employ. Then the major breakthrough came in the year 2016 when the Labor Act was amended. And children below the 14 years, the company banned from getting employment. Then there was two differences: one is a child and another is an adolescent. The child was then there was two different as was not completed 14 years of age, and uh, adolescent was completed 14 years, not completed 18 years. So, this child, there are some exceptions for uh, this child to get employed. That is a family or a family enterprise, you can get employed. But even in family enterprise, the hazard regarding this works, they cannot be employed, they, they, they cannot be substituted for an adult. So, their education should not be affected. The schooling uh, attendance should not be affected, the leisure should not be affected. These are the uh, protections that the tenant met. In terms of, say, 1986, this act was enacted, and they were allowed to be engaged. But the person who is engaged, them must submit an undertaking to the DM. That is, safeguards will be safety, will be protected. And they were allowed to their educational leisure will be protected. So all these are taking up given and the DM has to give permission. Even then they cannot be engaged for, uh, for more than 27 days. Or even if they're leaving for a day, they can be employed in hazardous process more than five hours. For every three hours, they have to be given a list of employees. There are some exceptions one hour. All these precautions are being given in the uh, child and the time we were next for it was amended in 2016. The most important part of this 2016 act is that uh, Provisions have been made more stringent. Uh, fine of from 2000 to 50,000 can be imposed. Then, uh, the 14 years. The company will ban from. Then, there was two provisions one is a child and one is an adolescent. Two, two years can be imposed. It is, it is repeated offense. Even one year to three years, imprisonment can be imposed. If parents are committing the offense, for the first offense, they are not being punished. Then, if it is a repeated offense, then two, two rupees can be, fine can be imposed. That is a stringent provisions have been provided. Then regarding rehabilitation, one of the fine has been imposed. This amount can be deposited to this rehabilitation fund. The but even the family part will go to the children, child account for every six months. And uh, regarding the matured amount, they'll be getting after attaining the age of majority. And this is some wonderful provisions in this uh, late assignment. And uh, regarding the instance of child labor, we prior to the COVID-19, uh, uh, we identified some uh, school dropouts, and we arranged for admission to schools through the Sarvashiksha Abhiyan. 
even just prior to the covid pandemic we have identified some uh, 120 applicants who were also school dropouts they are not interested in uh, other studies and uh, we inquired them about having their school development and we also have also held a camp for that nearly 30 of them turned up and of them 25 are ready to have the school development we have arranged for a school development program uh, i think particularly in the first second of march but unfortunately couldn't continue to the covid and uh, soon or later it will happen and substitute for i don't think we have come across any such things during the past uh, these are the questions that are given in the act and i can ask is like i said i already do it friends or happen there i think this uh, is just a child labor it will happen because uh, they engage but the person who is engaging them has many former jobs have gone out many have become uh, vulnerable to be more vulnerable so we safety will be protected they happen but as each and every one so you know of us as a stakeholder we have to get so this attack is given under the gms permission so we have to prevent it and we will do the part uh, sorry in this the part again the child art is like a singer or a, uh, as in the department we are planning to have a special drive of all the establishments to identify whether there is a resurgence of child labor and apart from that uh, we are also planning to collect data from the schools as whether well there are dropouts previously as whether there are reports from the schools we are planning to collect the data and have a database and also we are planning to contact each and every child and also their parents and children more to find out the underlying reason to why they are getting dropped out so that we can help uh, the bird to prevent them from going to child labor and to chalk out the path that will be very good for their future career i think this aspect uh, ngos can you know, have a good role even then they cannot be engaged uh, or more than in talking to the i will mean, also start the data these in talking to the child and their parents and then find requirements and uh, submitting the sort can be just take a general solution on these uh, problems in yes, the case we so i think we will be Yeah, as stupid as all can play a joint role in eradicating this uh, child labor. Uh, I think the government of India has fixed a deadline of 2025 to the elimination of child labor. I think with the active cooperation and regarding rehabilitation, what are the time this rehabilitation for him to engage in charity? We can engage both. Of them. And uh, I hope around five to six months. And uh, this uh, policy will be free of child labor. And I think the implementation of the child labor law itself will not be necessary because of the child-free food sharing. And I hope the day will come soon. Uh, with that thought, uh, I thank Hope for giving me this wonderful opportunity. This is the right step at the right time. I thank you, Bernard. Thank you very much.